Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and we're going to be talking about my recent five-star reads. I have my call pile, which I put every book that I have read in there, and then I do the ratings, and it tells me what the ratings are. I will link all of that below because G has done a great job of creating a great spreadsheet. And so I'm going to pass it along where I got it from and how you can go get your own. It's fantastic. Now, what I do is I take 20 books that I have read, so I have all my lists broken into 20 books, and then out of those 20 books, I pick all of the five stars, and we talk about them in this video. So that's what I'm doing, my next 20 books, and I had four five-star books in, those, in that group of 20. So the first one was Closer to Nowhere by Ellen Hopkins. This book is told in verse, and at first I thought, well, that's going to be a little bit confusing, or sometimes it's hard for me when I'm reading the book and not listening to a book in verse to just know everything that's happening. That was not the case in this book. We get two different points of view in this book. We get the point of view of Cal, whose mom has recently passed away, and he is living with his mom's twin sister and her husband and their daughter. And so he's living with his cousin and his aunt and uncle, but the fact that his aunt is his mom's twin sister, I think just adds another level to the grief and the emotions and things that Cal is going through because it is so, I mean, she does look a lot like his mom. And at the same time, his mom had made some really bad choices as far as like drugs and the lifestyle that she was living. And so he had to go and live with his dad for a while. And then he had been taken from his dad. And now he's in this stable environment but it's still taking him a little while to cope with everything and then the other point of view is the cousin who now had this what she thought was this perfect family and now her cousins come in and he creates all these problems and he is a nuisance and so she is not happy that he's there and so it's just about the both of them coming to grips with what family means and what it means whether you are born into a family or not and just how that creates a bond or a belonging and I think that's what this book is all about and it was it was fantastic I did read it physically so I think maybe having it on audio would for me just enhance it because audio makes everything better for me if audio doesn't work for you then of course that would not be my recommendation for you but I definitely would recommend that everyone read this book. It was so good. And jumping completely to a different genre, we have a sci-fi book, Sunreach, by Brandon Sanderson and Jancy Patterson. This is the first novella in the Skyward series. In the Skyward series, there's a group of three novellas that are specifically Skyward Flight, and that just means that they are about people from Spensa's flight. In book one, we meet Spensa, and she's going to school, and all the people that are in her flight, all learning to be pilots together, they make up the Skyward flight. So this is the first novella. This is right after the events of book two. So all, it's not giving anything away. All I'm gonna say is something at the end of book two happens to Spensa, and no one is really sure what happened, just that she is gone. And so this first novella is what her flight mates have been doing or are doing in her absence. And this specifically focuses on FM. And she came there almost in like protest. She was raised in what we would consider probably to be a hippie kind of place that was like anti big government things and let everybody alone and let everybody do what they love and let's not have wars and battles and yet they live on a planet that is constantly attacked so that was just the thing that she was trying to work through herself as she was at school and so we get a little bit more of that we also get to see her softer side where she's trying to figure out what these little fluffy things are that we have met before in Spencer's story. And now FM is kind of exploring them a little bit more in her story. We also get 
just some more of the side characters that we had at the beginning are back in this one are still in this one and it's such a great cast of characters but I really liked FM's point of view and how so different from Spencer like Spencer was coming in as like I am a warrior and I will feast on your carcasses like like Spencer was very much like let's do this and FM has always been like do we do we really have to fight? Like, I'm doing this because it feels like we have to, to defend ourselves, but I would rather not have to fight, like that kind of thing. And so it was really cool to see this from her point of view and to just learn more about her as a character. And she became one of my favorites. And so I loved her through the whole thing. I've already read all the rest of the books in this series and so far that are out. And I just loved her all through the whole thing. So that was one of my five-star reads. I really loved it, and I would recommend, if you have not read the Skyward series, definitely go back, start at the beginning, and get to this book, because it's good. And continuing the whole jumping from one genre to the next, my next five-star read was a fantasy, and I mean it was an epic fantasy adventure tale. I don't even know all the words to describe how awesome I thought this book was. It is Waking Ursa Minor by Helen Rye Peterson. This is a self-published debut novel and it is immense. Like number one it's over 700 pages. That part is not what I mean by immense. I mean the scale of this world and the things that we do in this first book and the places that we go. We start out small. We are meet this little girl. Her name is Sarah Kayla. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Sarah Kayla. I just ended up calling her Sarah the whole time. But we meet her, and she is an orphan who was dropped off somehow at this girl's school, And she has been there past the age of everybody else. So, like, all the other kids her age are gone and back to their families, but she doesn't have a family to go to, so she's there. And one night, someone comes and wants to take her. And murder and chaos ensues, and it just becomes like an adventure. Sarah runs away to get away from the person who is trying to kill her. And that might be the theme of the whole book. Sarah is running from the person who's trying to kill her. <laughs> I, I so want to talk about this in a spoilery way. I, you guys know, if you've been to my channel, that I love this book. At first, I read it as an arc from the author. She just said like, hey, is anybody willing to read this book? I'll give it to you. And we were all, there was a bunch of us that were like, yes, yes, yes. So over on Leslie's Discord, The Nerdy Narrative, which I'll link that below, we started reading it and discussing it over there. And so the discussion is still there. So if you read this book, please come over there. Because if you come over and you're like, I'm in chapter two, you will have so many people swarm you and are like, okay, we're ready. Like we're ready to join you on this adventure that you're about to go on. And there were times when I thought, this book is so weird. Like, maybe it's going places that I don't want to go. I'm just telling you, hold on like a roller coaster. And you will make it to the end and be like, that was the best ride that I have been on in a very long time. I so much enjoyed this book. I can't even say how much I liked this book. So, I clearly gave it five stars. I bought the paperback when it when it came out in paperback. I was like, oh, I'm pre-ordering. So I pre-ordered it. It arrived to me. And almost the day it came out, she announced that she had a hardback edition. So I was like, oh, I'm buying the hardback too. So when I got both editions here, the hardback and the paperback, I decided to do a giveaway. So if you were here during my April month of videos i did a giveaway at the end of the month and gave away my paperback copy of waking ursa minor and it was to somebody who doesn't normally read fantasy like this so i really hope that she loves it 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 was just so good the characters were great this is great character work in here just the the scope like i said of the adventure that she tried to write i feel like this could have easily gotten away from somebody if they did not keep it the way she did like she and she made it feel small even though it was on a huge scale there are just so many things i could say about this book that it will be spoilers and i can't give them away so i'm just saying read this book i'm really thinking about picking it for my book club so that i can read it again <laughs> and i can force other people to read it with me 
Finally, my last five-star read in this section is Gone by Mo Hader. This is technically listed as book five of Jack Caffrey's series. He's a detective. Also, this is a murder mystery detective book. If detective books are not your thing, then you probably won't like this. But this was very cool. The premise of this was awesome. Like, it started out where we thought people were being carjacked and then accidentally the kids would be left in the car. But we quickly find out at the very beginning that maybe these cars that have the kids in them are the ones that are being targeted. And that right there is so creepy to me as a parent. Like it just really hits my scary buttons. And so I loved this so much. I was hooked at the very beginning and then it hooked me even more when we got that little tidbit of like, oh, no, it's not what you thought it was. And then we, it just takes us on a wild ride. So this is a very good thriller. It's 400 pages, which is a little bit longer than normal. I listened to it on audio and I just flew right through. I thought that it was fantastic. It kept me engaged the whole time and it was just a great five-star read. So I feel like no matter what genre you like or what kind of tropes you like, I, surely there's a book in there in those four that hits something that sounds like you would like. So I want to know down below if you've read any of these, what was the last five-star book that you read or a recent five-star read that you had that you want to share? Because I know when I read a really good book, I just really want to talk about it. So I would love to hear below what you thought about any of these, if you've read them, certainly, or any recent five-star reads that you've had. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.